This video is sponsored by Gamma. When you fresh install Obsidian, it looks like this. But Obsidian wasn't meant to be this boring. It's one of the most customizable note-taking applications on the market. Today and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn this boring UI into this, which is my ultimate setup as a software engineer for my work and my personal life and everything I do in Obsidian. So let's start building it brick by brick. And uh, first thing first, go into the settings, community plugins, and turn on community plugins. This allows us to select among the third party plugins that is available to us. First thing, install calendar, install, and then make sure you enable it. Then you have this tiny icon here appearing. Then we want to click, open it, and drag it here on the bottom. And then we have a visual presentation of the calendar. This can be on my uh, set of tags and nested tags. What I love about this calendar is not only it gives me a planner and also a visual presentation of the month, but also if I click on any of these days, it will create a journal for me with the date time. So for example, if I click, you can see that these dots representing the days that I created my journal. Then is my graph. So nothing much functional about graph. I just love it because it's beautiful. So I usually drag it down here and allocate a tiny space for it. It's beautiful. Let it be there. Doesn't hurt. And then we need to set the theme. So go into the appearance in settings and then themes. I usually use three different themes. Obsidianite. Blue Topaz and uh, Obsidian Groovebox. The reason is because these have better color coding for codes, inline codes and titles. Like for example, you can see that this one has a beautiful representation for line separator as well. So I use Obsidianite for this tutorial and I show you how it behaves. You can see that the codes, now code blocks, are color coded, it's very beautiful. And if I add a line separator here you can see that it's very beautiful and appealing and then let's work a little bit on the graph i'm gonna take you through the visual aspects of the software make, make it improve visually and then functionally so turn on all these tags attachment existing files only it gives you a better representation of what you have all the tags that are related and it makes the graph a little bit more beautiful and then I set this panel to be my tags and nested tags. And you can see that it shows in a hierarchical order, the tags and nested tags. It makes finding the notes much easier later. And then on the left hand side, this is my folders and files. Let's improve this a little bit by adding some third party plugins. So what I use for this section is basically three different plugins. I use Iconize which allows me to set icon for anything, enable, and then you have to go to the options and on the bottom, browse icon packs and select a few icon packs. So once you have the icon packs, then you can go back here to your files or folders and then right click on them, change icon, and select any icon that you like. Back to the community plugin again. I'm gonna search this time for file color. I said folder color is file color. Install, enable, options. For this one, you have to manually add colors. So I just add a few, save, set color, and then can change your folder or file colors. Another one is called color tags. And once it's enabled, you can go back and you can see that your tags are improved visually. And then one more thing is 
search for file count, file explorer node count is the name of the plugin. Install it and once enabled, you can see that now I can see how many files are, in each, uh, are inside each individual folder. Even the nested folders are showing properly now how many files are in them. Back to my original vault, which is completely customized. I will show you the rest of the settings here because it's quite easy. You got the drill, how to add them, how to change the option and settings. I have calendar, I have code styler, which basically changes the color of the code, color code the uh, inline and block of codes for me. It identifies the languages, programming languages, and it's quite clever. It has a copy button as well, which is very handy. For example, if I'm in a code snippet and I would like to copy it, paste it somewhere else, it easily does it for me. How it works, then you can add uh, a block of code, then name the language, and then paste your code. You can see that it's automatically color coded. And once you are out of the box, you can copy and then paste it wherever you like. And then I have this file explorer plus plus, which is fantastic. I'm going to show you how it, what it does. Uh, it adds a lot of functionality, but the main thing that I use is pinning the notes or any folder to the top. For example, I want to pin this folder to the top, right click, pin folder, and it stays on the top. A lot of people asked me when I posted this on uh, Reddit, asked me how I pin these notes on the top. So now you know it. Then I strongly recommend you to install this Ninja Cursor. Ninja Cursor is, uh, you can see that how it works. Like it's like a sword acting somehow. It's like a ninja movement of the cursor and typing. You can see the movements are very beautiful and it just makes the experience of typing much more fun. So these are all the visual configurations of my Obsidian and now I'm proceeding to functionals. But before that, I need to tell you about the sponsor of the video, Gamma. Gamma turns your ideas into visual presentations. Ever wished you could create stunning presentations, websites, or social media posts? Without the hours of work, meet Gamma.app, your AI-powered creative assistant. Just tell it what you need, a slick presentation, a captivating website, or eye-catching social media content, and boom, Gamma generates it instantly. No design skills, no problem. Gamma got you everywhere. How? Well, the UI is optimized on all the screen sizes, including mobile phones, without compromising any features. Need to tweak something? Customize with a click, Want fresh ideas? Gamma's got endless inspiration. I'm not just recommending Gamma, I'm using it myself and for good reason. Since incorporating it into my workflow, the visual posts I've created and shared on social media have not only saved me countless hours of manual work, but have also captured significantly more attention. It's a clear reminder that compelling visuals are just as crucial as great content. As for the functional ones, the first thing I want to take you through is this OmniSearch Vault Search. It's a perfect plugin for search. It searches literally everything in your vault, and it's much more capable than the native search on Obsidian. In order to have that, you need to install this OmniSearch plugin, and then you can go through the options. It has a lot of options. And then you need to have Commander. In Install Commander, go to Option, Tab Bar, which is here. And you can see that I added the OmniSearch Vault Search. You can just add command, search for it, OmniSearch Vault Search, and you can add it here. The best part of it, it appears on your mobile as well, which comes quite handy because the search in mobile is a nightmare, the native search of Obsidian. And then if you are a programmer or you deal with code, you can install this code styler and editor syntax highlighter, which I showed you. It highlights the code. It allows you to copy and paste it elsewhere. It has numbers, number of lines, and it comes very handy. You can collapse and expand any uh, block of codes, internal blocks, and parent blocks. Importer plugin is perfect if you want to import notes from Notion, Evernote, Apple Note, Microsoft OneNote. You can see that it supports a lot of different applications out there. 
You can install this Tag Wrangler as well. It allows you to modify and work on tags, rename them from this pane. And finally, tasks. You can see that on my dashboard up here, I created all my tasks from across everywhere in my notes. It is all appearing here, everything on done. And it's just a simple query. Tasks, whichever is not done. If you copy and paste this query into any block of code, then it will extract all the tasks across all your notes. I'm going to place all these configurations in a link in the description. You can easily grab it and just drop it in your Obsidian folder uh, in your vault. So for example here, I'm in my main vault and this is a hidden folder which called .obsidian. So all you need to do is then just grab this one, creating a complete new vault from scratch. And once I paste this obsidian, that obsidian configuration file here, it will automatically grab all the configurations. All I need to do now is to turn on community plugins, shut down the app and reopen it. And I should be able to see all these configurations placed for me in my new vault. So you can utilize this. You don't need to do to follow. If you don't want to follow all the steps in the video, you can just use this configuration in the description and get to what I have here.